Uh, but apparently something else that was in large part made up was the whole Bruce Lee, Gene LaBelle, Quentin Tarantino controversy that we talked about. What? It was just on the drive-thru that we, that we discussed this, that yeah. Tarantino had been on. And then there's still, there's varying reports on this, but uh, uh, some people, the original questioner, had asked something to the effect of, what do you think about a story Quentin Tarantino told on Joe Rogan about Gene LaBelle beating up Bruce Lee because Bruce Lee was being stiff with the stunt men was the way the question was phrased. And then some people have said, no, he didn't say that on Joe Rogan. He said they brought Gene LaBelle to the set just in case Bruce Lee got out of hand. And then other people are saying, well, this fucking Tarantino to begin with, because he, he just put the scene in his, which I have not seen the movie. Have you seen that particular movie? That's the one movie of his I haven't seen yet. And I actually really want to. I just, this is the problem with not having time. I haven't had a chance to watch a movie that I actually really want to see, but I'm going to very soon. I haven't watched a movie that was made in the last 20 years and probably in the last 15 years. But anyway, um, in the movie, they have the Bruce Lee gets beat up, right? And there was there was already uh, uh, consternation amongst the MMA community or martial arts community or the Bruce Lee devotees. Plus the portrayal whatever. of him, not just that and he got the, beat up, but the portrayal of plus, him. Plus, and the portrayal of him as being fairly prickish and et cetera. And people have shot that down. Uh, but now, the, basically, a bunch of people. Uh, have commented since we put that clip up that the, obviously what we said was correct that do you think if there was a fight between Gene LaBelle and Bruce Lee that in the martial arts and or pro wrestling communities that this story would not have been told and retold endlessly it's fucking horse shit but some more of the Bruce Lee researchers have said that they not only Bruce Lee and Gene LaBelle not only didn't fight but they were friendly and through stunt work in television, when LaBelle did that in the 60s all over the place, and Bruce Lee trained it, to some extent, not for like years devotedly, but to some extent in grappling with Gene LaBelle because he recognized that grappling was a fucking big part of martial arts. So this was basically Quentin Tarantino, I think, just wanted to get people fucking fired up and and he I'll go after Bruce Lee now. He got Bruce Lee's daughter fired up apparently. That's again that's the one person he actually apologized to. Well, yeah, and I saw that. And he said, "Well, and it that was a half ass of well, I apologize cuz you know, I understand it's her dad, but no, no but. None of the things that you were saying in whatever version of them were actually apparently true about Bruce Lee and or Gene LaBelle and or Bruce Lee being stiff with stunt people. Uh, I can believe it ain't ballet, as they say. I can believe he threw a potato in his time, but not, you know, just carelessly and prickishly. Do you like his films, Tarantino? Oh, I thought you were going to say Bruce Lee. Um, yeah, well, yeah, yes, I actually, um, and I, I'm unlike you, I haven't seen nearly all of them, but the ones I've seen, I like Reservoir Dogs. Uh, Definitely like Pulp Fiction. Um, Jackie one of Brown? The, um, I remember seeing that, and yes, I, I think I saw it once or twice. It wasn't like a, something I have seen that he's in and worked on, but technically it's not his film. I've seen this probably a dozen or 15 times. The funniest fucking movie, Four Rooms. Do you remember this? Yeah, I remember that. It was four well, different. That was stuff. a full It was, it was four different filmmakers, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So each one of them did a scene, but Tarantino acted in it also, and et cetera, et cetera. But um, what's the name? Tim Roth was the bellhop at this old yeah. Hollywood hotel, and the fucking the, the a lot of the Tarantino cast of regulars is in it, but the the one scene. In that, no matter how many times I see it, it's like the perfect run in and wrestling, the way that they build it and the fucking payoff and the finish is still that I will fucking hurt myself laughing. It's about a, a two kids being babysat by the bellhop that find a dead whore under the bed in the hotel room. 
And the final f- the payoff is the funniest thing ever recorded in film history. But anyway, yes, I like Tarantino, but apparently he's just drumming up publicity for himself. What about From Dust Till Dawn? Oh, The Dust Till Dawn. I was about to mention that one. From Dust Till Dawn. And what? what's her name? God damn it. Oh, um, shit. Oh, Juliette uh, Lewis. Help me. Huh? Juliette Lewis. No. Oh, Salma Hayek. There you go. Yeah. That was the best part about From Dust Till Dawn. I could have watched her from dawn till dusk also. That's right. She's not bad in the daylight either. See, I love Jackie Brown, of course, featuring the goddess herself, Pam Greer. That's just a fantastic movie I can watch over and over. But Kill Bill, to me, one and two is just a masterpiece. That is one of the true masterpieces in the history of cinema. I I saw those once a piece, and that's about enough. Oh, I think they're brilliant. Eh. Well, anyway.